All these images I generate myself uh, within five, seven minutes each with help of Mid Journey AI. AI as a tool, AI as a creator, but I'm the one who told AI what to do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, you will be able to generate your first AI. Um, AI generated, well, who did it, who, I don't know, but it will be yours. A unique, completely unique image. First, you need to have Discord. If you don't know what it is, type discord.com or Google it and install. Uh, it's an application uh, for all platforms, including mobile, your cell phone. Uh, you can actually generate images right from cell phone. I don't know, right in a bus. That's amazing. But you need to create an account and install the application. Second step, you need to go to Midjourney. So just type Midjourney on Google and you will hit their homepage. What you need to click? You need to click join the beta. You click join and it will open your mid journey. Oh no. <laughs> it will open your Discord. If you don't have installed Discord, it will be uh, one second, it will be like this. You can continue to Discord on your web browser and you will get uh, to the Discord server. It will ask you to join it. Maybe it will ask a few more questions and you'll be there like this. As you can see, it's about 350,000 users online with almost 3 million users on the server. Lots of people, but comparing to the uh, size of the human population, it's a very tiny bit who knows how to do this. And now you'll be able to do it yourself. Let me show you how. You got here. Uh, there are uh, newbies, room, one, two, three, maybe will be more, uh, that you can click, you can uh, load the room, and you will see what other people are doing. You will see what they are asking AI to do and what AI is generating. Uh, it's cool to learn. By the way, uh, to learn uh, even more, it's easier for you to uh, click on Community Showcase on the Midjourney homepage. You will see some beautiful imagery. Uh, you can always uh, see the uh, the request, that what was the input, text input. Because with Midjourney, we just tell by words, written words, we tell AI what we want it to do for us. So. You can learn a lot, but let's go back to our, this is our server. Uh, this is mid journey uh, and it's all cool, but there is a problem, uh, at least for me, that lots of people post in here and once you start typing, your result will be always scrolled up, scroll up because lots of uh, new messages. It's just like a chat. So what I suggest to you is to go to mid journey bot. You see it's here. If you don't see it, you need to click on this link. So member list on this uh, server and you can right click on mid journey bot and hit message. And you go to private conversation with this bot. You see, I already played with this. You can, whatever you'll be saying, it will be only staying on this chat. Nobody else will, uh, will be to interfere you. It will be public results unless you'll be on paid plan. I did pay for this so I can do private. And also I added uh, to my own server. I added uh, mid journey to my family server where my uh, daughters, my wife can join it and uh, do their own stuff. As you can see, this is uh, my daughter was playing around, generating some <laughs> cool stuff and it's only us. If you're interested in this, let me know. I can do a tutorial how to do this, but basically it's uh, playing with Discord. So you'll be on direct message with your bot. Now, the very first comment that you need to know is, you put backslash, imagine, 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 imagine something. And then you need to tell what to imagine. Let's try to do something that I already did. Uh, it will be interesting for me uh, if I'll put exactly the same uh, query, what it will generate this time, because it's always something new. I mean, it's always unique, always. So uh, there, is, there is this bottle. There is this bottle that I posted uh, some time ago and people just love it. Let's try to do something similar, okay? Let's do our imagine. And the original query was clear glass bottle full of strange thing. Okay, so comma. And then I add octane render. 
scenic lighting and selfie and then AR 3x4. What it is? Octane Render, it's a well-known CGI render that um, it's well known for creating very uh, photorealistic images. AI knows about it and it will try to do something more photorealistic because again I want to make it more like a still life photography, uh, less like a painting or art, okay? So it should be uh, photorealistic, octane render. Then scenic lighting, I'll tell you about this a little bit later, what it is. Selfie, again, later, and AR 3x4. This is a spec ratio. By default, it's making square. I want to do it uh, 3x4, vertical, actually vertical, because it will be a bottle, right? And uh, for Instagram, it's better vertical. You can do 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, uh, 3 by 4 or 2 by 1, whatever. Okay, some aspect ratio, it's cool stuff. And then hit. And let's see what it will do. It takes, depends on the load on the server, it takes a few minutes to generate your first four images. It can be quite different images. And uh, your task is choose one or two or you can choose a few uh, and tell AI what to do with them. Once it's generated, it will, uh, it will be a uh, comment, like little buttons uh, where you can choose what to do. Meanwhile, where to find all these comments and something that you can do at your home. Go to your mid journey, go to getting started, okay? When you click getting started, it will be a quick start guide. We got the image, by the way. There you can uh, read and see what, basically what I'm explaining you. Take your time, read. Uh, on the next video, I will tell you what, what I learned of uh, very specific things uh, that uh, helped me to, to create all these images that you've seen at the beginning. Uh, but it will be second uh, video. I don't want to put it uh, too much of your time. Subscribe to the channel, like it, uh, let me know what do you think and uh, wait for next video. Meanwhile, we got this. So I click, I see the results. So they different results and they just, uh, it's a first uh, run, right? It's, it's not the final result. Uh, my goal, I mean, my task now is to find what I like to work on. Let's see. For example, I really like this one number four because it has some interesting stuff in it and uh, actually no number three so one two three four number three and number one is something that i like so let's continue on this i can choose u and one or two or three four or v u is upscale basically use it and upscaling upscaling is something that um, will add details and make larger image but adding details can be can do a strange thing because it will add something that you don't like. Anyway, let's uh, let's choose V1 and let's choose V3. So it will work on first and third image as a reference and generate, still using my input, text input, it will generate something similar. You, you see, this is similar to first one, this is similar to third one. Okay, I can always go back and let's say do V4, for example, or I can upscale first one. Let's do it just for you. So you will learn a lot. I mean, you'll learn maximum from this. I clicked on upscale. So three comments on very first input, three different comments. Uh, this was the de development or the first variant. Um, I like number number three because it's the most photorealistic it looks good so i just want to upscale it okay number three i put u3 on this one i like to work now let's do uh, let's do one more iteration we can do v4 right i like v4 so it will use the reference and uh, this is our upscale. You see, I'm doing kind of multitasking. Why not? Uh, this is upscaling our first. Remember, we did it last time. Upscale U. The last thing that we uh, clicked. The first, I mean. And this is how it is. It's not ready yet. It's still 81%. Once it's ready, uh, we will have it. 90%. And... Okay. So... 
hundred percent, almost hundred. Once it's there, it will be it will be refreshed. Okay. So this is our upscale of the very first variant. You understand it, right? This is how it looked like. Mm, okay, we can save it, for example. Or uh, it's not the maximum resolution. If I really like it, I can need uh, I need to upscale uh, max. So I upscale to max, it will generate the same basically image, uh, but with uh, more resolution. This one, another one, right? This is number four on the second iteration. This one, right? No, sorry, three. This one. This was upscale of second generation from the first bottle. This one. This one. Right? And I like it even more. I like it even more. That's cool. We can do upscale to max as well. And now we need to choose what to do with this. I like number two. And let's do upscale two. Okay. I can tell you that you, for free, you have only 25 uh, generations. I did a paid plan, so now I can do uh, my... Uh, right now, for $10 per month, I can do 200 images. For 30, it's unlimited. I'm going to switch to 30 because first I tried 10, you know, we'll see. I like it, my family likes it, so uh, $30 per month. And then uh, what's uh, cool was the... Um, paid plan you can do private you can do private images uh, it's needed if you want to hide your query for example I have this idea of uh, learning how to work with this AI and then I will use my own I <laughs> intelligence um, to help other people uh, to generate something completely unique because I uh, as a photographer as a uh, commercial photographer I know how what to tell to generate uh, really interesting images and especially backgrounds and I want to uh, I want to make sure that people uh, don't know what I'm doing because I may sell my intelligence uh, as a teacher so I use private settings because if it's not private it will be on the uh, community showcase with the query so I want to hide my query. It's up to you, but again, uh, if uh, you think commercially, um, you may want to hide it, so nobody can, can do it. Because you see, this is quite similar to what I did originally, one of the bottles that we've seen on the beginning. Uh, it's different, but it's, it's close enough. So we got this. The first bottle. You can do the same. It will look different. It will look slightly different. Uh, now, there are different uh, buttons here. You can make variations. Uh, you can do upscale, redo. Sometimes, sometimes it adds something that you don't like to be on the picture. A redo uh, will simplify it again. Uh, then better, it's just different way to do this. Remaster, it will just change many things, but still uh, using as a reference your image. Okay, and same here. Uh, actually, beautiful thing. Wow, I want to upscale it to max. You can always, if you like something really much, like for example this one, you can like it. You can do variations or you can remaster it. You can click and it will be again something really cool. By the way, uh, it tells me that I have eight more images left uh, on my plan. It, then I'll be charged per image. Okay, then I switch to uh, unlimited. So you can make variations. Let's do uh, make variations. What you also can do, you can do uh, tell how you like it. You can help to teach AI so it will do better. I like it. I clicked, I tell him that I like it. Um, so it's upscaling to max right now, but I want to do variations. And it's doing. Now, you're almost there. I don't want to put uh, much of the time. What else do you need to know? You need to know this settings, comment settings, okay? On settings, you just type it and it will be somewhere like this. Uh, let me explain you what it is, so you know. Versions of uh, Mid Journey, third is the most advanced. You can always uh, use first or second. I like third. Test is some testing capabilities, same uh, with uh, test photo. Style is very interesting thing, style. Style is how much uh, fantasy it will add to your query. More styling, meaning 
Let me turn off. Uh, more styling meaning that uh, it will be more precise to what you ask it to do. Uh, less, sorry, style very high, it will be more fantasy. It can go really drift away from what you said. Low style meaning it will be uh, closer to what you asked it to do. I like style low. Uh, there is even parameter. You can do it as uh, like I'll show you style. Okay, so as you can see, style uh, can be as low as uh, six twenty five. You can do it by typing it, or you can uh, choose on this on these buttons. The quality, the mode, and uh, as you can see, private or public. Uh, for me, it's private because I'm on paid plan. What you need to do, you need to try this yourself, learn a little bit, and then come back for the second video where I'll tell you how to feed the image to your video as a reference. This is an amazing thing. You can feed your own image to tell it what uh, you really uh, want it to do. And this is an amazing thing. Really, it's, it's, it's endless possibilities. Uh, you can do also uh, some more advanced parameters uh, in text, not even parameters. Uh, you can do, uh, I'll show you so you can dig the link to this uh, GitHub repository. It's like a library uh, is under this video. Check it out. They did one query about generating a sphere, but we're adding modifiers, adding words to the uh, text query, and uh, you can learn how different things uh, affect your uh, result. It's it's amazing thing. For example, uh, lighting. You can see like type of light displays or types of lighting. Uh, you can see how this word, specific word that you add change the image half rear lighting fluid light uh, rim lighting right the same query but you see different result based on one word and tons of words here on this reference about lighting about materials about uh, all kind of things this is something that you can utilize uh, to get really precise result because like i said i want to uh, make sure that it will be predictable I want to uh, not completely repeat, but I want to generate something that I envision for my own photography. Okay, and if you learn it, you can do it as well. Uh, it will be on second video. So now we have this beautiful image. Now we need to save it. You hit open original. It will open. As you can see, uh, it's about 1600 by 1600 resolution PNG file. It can be upscaled. Uh, in Photoshop, but you need to just save image like this, and uh, that's it. Uh, let's save it to AI folder. I was trying to generate, guys. I was trying to generate um, uh, jewelry. I was trying to uh, generate like a wine still life. You see, it can be done very well. Uh, I was trying to generate watches just to see how it works. It's more for fun. Not not real stuff. <laughs> this one, for example, um, like this. It's all generated uh, without any Photoshop and backgrounds. For example, this is the most interesting thing for me because I can uh, definitely use it to put uh, some subject that I'm gonna shoot in the studio on this background, and it will be unique image. Nobody can have the same background, and it took me five minutes to generate it. Just think about it, five minutes of your time without knowing CGI, materials, all this stuff, just knowing how to ask this AI. I think this is this is the, an amazing opportunity, amazing opportunity for all, all artists, uh, even for, for us, for product photographers, the most logically thinking artist <laughs> in the world. <laughs> uh, if you're a designer, Think about interior design, how you can generate specific images uh, for specific designs for uh, colors, because you can tell a lot. Wait for my next video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll tell you uh, more specific things about what I learned so far. Good luck.